And now, News Channel 10's 24-7 local weather first alert forecast, sponsored by Generator Supercenter of Amarillo. Well, hello and good Monday morning, everyone. I'm meteorologist Sheldon Bashirs. Hopefully you enjoyed your weekend. And unfortunately, it was another windy and dry one. Of course, having wildfire implications from that. But the good news is Monday should give us a little bit of relief. There's some good news there. Looking at your satellite radar here as we're starting off the day, as you can see, pretty quiet conditions around the area. Few thin, wispy clouds down off towards the south. Let's talk about your temperatures, what you can expect for the daytime hours. You'll see right there some cooler air up north. There is good reason for that. I'll explain here in just a moment. But 55 here in Amarillo, right around 9 a.m. So it's going to be a nice warm start to the day. 40s up north, 50s and maybe even 60s down off towards the south. We'll get up to around 63 by lunchtime. 70s down off towards the southeastern parts of the area, low 50s up north. And by the end of the afternoon, maybe 50s in the cooler parts of the area here in Amarillo. We're looking at a high of 73, while places like Childress could get up to 80, but you'll see low 70s in places like Portala, 69 in Clovis and Canadian. And then you got right there 61 in Liberal and Guymon. Of course, dropping down into chillier ranges overnight, probably down closer to freezing, maybe 33 here in Amarillo once it's all said and done as you wake up on a Tuesday morning. And here is why we're seeing that slightly cooler air up towards the north. Look what happens right around 10, 11 a.m. this morning. We see a minor cold front start to push down into the area. So slightly cooler air starts to make its way into the northern parts of the region. But you will see right there, 2, 3, 4 o'clock, you still see kind of westerly winds at 10 to 20 miles an hour. Eastern New Mexico down through Childress, where those temperatures are looking to be at their warmest. Well, here in Amarillo, we kind of have a north northwesterly wind below 10 miles an hour. Winds should stay nice and light. And then thankfully, going into your Tuesday, winds actually shift out of the east southeast which hopefully means more moisture content in our atmosphere. We'll have to wait and see on that. In terms of humidity values, it will drop down a little bit today. It still will be dry, make no mistake about it, but maybe not into a critical range thanks to those lighter winds. And of course, that humidity range being around 10 to 20%. So we're really not seeing that critical fire danger risk, at least for today. You'll see right there, 10 p.m., bouncing back to the 30 to 40% range. And that's really kind of our next weather makers. Monday really kind of sets the tone for the upcoming week as we're going to see just basically quiet conditions here for the next several days. Looking at your current upper level setup, you can see the jet stream is basically just kind of up and out of our area. Down off towards the south around Mexico, we're seeing kind of another organized kind of line of winds right there, but really neither one of them influencing our forecast all that much. We're under what's kind of called a zonal flow, which basically means nothing terribly exciting is going to be happening. We won't be too hot. We won't be too windy either. Really, like I said, not too noteworthy. Looking at your wind forecast, there's that front trying to push in by this afternoon, getting those winds kind of out of the east southeast. And then we're going to fast forward from your Tuesday all the way to your Friday. We're going to skip to the end of the week right here. As you're going to see those winds are a little all over the place at times. We're going to see general unorganization, but a pretty strong cold front comes in on Friday. And hopefully it's not just colder air that's coming on Friday either. Looking at your seven day supercast, we're going to see sunny, quiet conditions, maybe 60s and 70s here for the next several days. You will see that cold front kind of makes its presence known more on Tuesday than it does today. After, of course, we get those overnight lows down into the 30s, 70s, but then we'll drop to the 50s on Friday, but maybe a 40% chance of some scattered showers. So hopefully some rain being brought into the area. We'll have to wait and see on that jury still out. Of course, we'll keep an eye on those numbers here as we go throughout this week. But the good news is could be some moisture in the forecast. And don't forget this coming Sunday or rather maybe even more Saturday night. You've got to spring forward those clocks as daylight saving time is going to be starting, which means we will be losing an hour of sleep, but gaining an hour of daylight.